And looks like Cody Rhodes is not the only one that might be showing up at WrestleMania. This is WrestleRound bringing you today's uh, top 5 wrestling news and rumors. As always, make sure to have those notifications turned on to be up to date. And let's get right into it. And let's talk about Shane McMahon who made his WWE return at this year's Royal Rumble. Then after some backstage issues with talent and Vince McMahon, WWE quote unquote let him go quietly. Now it looks like things have appear to be smoothed over as PW Insider is reporting that Shane McMahon is being brought in for WrestleMania weekend in Dallas. This will be his first time back since the Royal Rumble weekend. There is no details on it yet on whether or not Shane McMahon will have a match or if he will be on the show. The one thing that is known is that he will be in town and WWE is flying him in. It's worth mentioning that before his fallout at the Royal Rumble with Vince McMahon, Shane McMahon man was scheduled to face Seth Rollins at Wrestlemania. There were other reports indicating that Shane was pushing to work with Austin Theory with the idea being that Vince McMahon will be involved but those plans were never locked in. But back to the initial plan, obviously a lot of people are now scared of the fact that maybe we're just gonna be getting Shane McMahon versus Seth Rollins and there is no Cody Rhodes. But again that doesn't necessarily seem to be the case, I could see WWE WWE trolling the fans and us getting Shane McMahon versus Seth Rollins on the first night and then versus Cody on the second night but at this point they have teased so much and it's uh, basically almost confirmed that Cody Rhodes have signed with them so surely it's gonna happen. In a recent interview with ESPN while he was promoting WrestleMania 38 Kevin Owens ended up revealing why he decided to re-sign a brand new contract with WWE stating the following well a a big part of it honestly was that Vince McMahon made it pretty clear to me that he wanted me to stay. I have been in WWE for 7 years at this point. I have a lot of friends everywhere else in wrestling but there is a whole side of WWE that people don't get to see. The production crew, the camera people, the stage manager, the creative team, all those people, they're all very special and they're a part of my family. Vince made it clear that he wanted wanted me to stay. It feels like my home and all those other people there. So he went on to indicate that it felt right to stay with the company. And hey it looks like things are working out because he is scheduled to main event night one of Wrestlemania. Talking about that the Wrestling Observer Radio ended up indicating up to why this is happening. Why is not Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey the matchup that is main eventing and instead a Kevin Owens and Stone Cold Steve Austin segment. It was stated that the they set up the KO show to be the main event because WWE doesn't want to run the risk of anyone leaving after they get to see Stone Cold Steve Austin. A bit unfortunate but it looks like a lot of AEW contracts are gonna be expiring soon and they will not be renewed due to budget cuts. Marcus Stunt hasn't been seen on AEW television for a couple of months and it was noted that his deal is due to expire in May and it will not be renewed. In an update post Posted by Fightful, they indicated that the reason given for why Marker Stunt's deal was not renewed is that the roster has been growing and they are trimming the roster because of budget cuts. Should be interesting to see who else AEW ends up letting go in the next couple of months. We knew that this was going to be an issue as that roster continued to get stacked up and a lot of talents getting signed. Of course, mostly from WWE but also from other companies. Talking about AEW. AEW, Seth Rollins discussed the way that AEW wrestler mentioned WWE on TV and he basically argued that it looks and reeks of desperation on their part. Seth is happy that AEW is doing well but went on to indicate the following. To me it's one of those things where it is very useful, it's fine. The references that you spoke of, Rollins mentioning Moxley, CM Punk mentioning WWE are two kind of different things. I didn't use the reference to John Moxley actually to talk down to somebody. I wasn't trying to diminish anyone's accomplishment. It wasn't like that. He's part of our story. Roman wouldn't be the same if it wasn't for Moxley and I. The other side of that coin is the way that it can be used by those guys. They can do whatever they want. I find it very tacky. I think it looks and reeks of desperation. I don't think it's anything on our television show that we need to go there and talk down about those guys. 
ones they're doing their thing they're doing it very well we're very happy for them i am at least personally are they on our level no they have a long way to go to catch up to us that's fine and they know that they do things differently from my perspective it's a step down for us to use it as an insult that's my perspective people may not share that opinion end quote so a very good and professional response from seth rollins let me know what you guys think down in the comments below as always had to be fully up today have those notifications turned on stay savage and i'll catch you on the next one with more wrestling news